the Christmas season is a great time to get back to some basics, like taking time to take on a family craft project. Let's head into the craft corner because today we can definitely help with that, thanks to a fun idea from our good friend Brenda Anders with Dogwood Crafters over in Dillsboro. Good to see you. Good to see you. Can you believe we're ready to talk about Christmas stuff no, again? No, I don't, I don't know where this year is gone. But I'm glad it's here because this is a good time for Dogwood Crafters. It is always wonderful to go out and visit you, but Christmas, you know how to do it right. Yes, we uh, last year served more than 300 dozen cookies during our luminaire season. That so is a huge we, event coming up. We have our baking skills going. All right. Well, you often share your recipes in the Carolina kitchen, but today we're cooking up something a little different in the craft corner. What are we making? We're making glycerin soap. Now, oh. this is very simple. It's just time consuming, and you can buy at any craft store the blocks oh. of glycerin. Okay. And, and this is uh, clear glycerin. So okay. you do that. And you just chop it in little cubes, just like jello. It's very easy to chop. Oh, good. And it feels good to your hands because it's, it's glycerin. It's glycerin, right. And then you put it in the microwave <clears throat> until it is uh, uh, clear okay. and melted. Okay. And at that point, you add just a tad of the color. Now, you, you said want. there's something special about the coloring we're using. We can't, this is not food coloring, right? Not food coloring. It, it has to be for soap making. And the FDA actually approves that? Yes. Okay. Oh. You, you, but wow. don't get your uh, uh, food coloring out that you're going to make red velvet cake. No, no. Don't use don't that. Use that. That's <laughs> your body would be pink. <laughs> so get it oh, the color really that bad. you want. And it's good to put it into a spoon just to drop at a time rather than taking a chance and... Letting putting it up there. You've seen me around the craft corner in the kitchen too often. <laughs> I would just, oh, no, there's a whole <laughs> bottle in. Today we're making Christmas spice. Ooh. And uh, Brenda Cagle, who, who makes this oh. for the shop, says to use one ounce for one pound of the glycerin. Okay. And you just stir that up nicely. Look and at that. And simply pour it into your molds. Now, Brenda is uh, so kind to share this recipe, if you will, with us, this directions for us. Now, they do all kinds of different scented soaps, though, right? Oh, yes. There's hundreds and hundreds. You can choose your own. Oh, it uh, smells like Christmas in here. I love that. It? I am so in the mood. You know what will also get me in the mood? If we could have some snow for Christmas, wouldn't that be great? Could I you can, ever help us with that? I can guarantee you, you will have snow. How do you pull that off? <laughs> well, Julie, Who do you know? Julie, I know Julie. <laughs> <laughs> and we have it on Strong Authority. Julie, what day is it supposed to snow? Um, December 6th. Seven. Seven. December 7th. Uh, and guaranteed snow. that would Only be in Dillsboro. <laughs> We're making snow and um, the children can come and make their own snowman oh my and, and have fun. And this is all part of the Lights and Luminaires uh, yes. event. Now this is 29 years doing this in Dillsboro, right? It's the first and it's always the first two full weekends in December. So we're talking the 7th and 8th mm -hmm. and the uh, 14th and 15th. Right. And we light all the streets with little bags of candles Those are and beautiful. everybody has white lights. It's very uh, decorative. And then uh, there's singing on the corners and every shop has uh, their own form of food, whatever, you know, A little Christmas treat for you to come and nibble it on. It might be an hors d'oeuvre, it might be popcorn, but, uh, but it will be fun. And there is so much to see in Dillsboro, but we are guaranteeing snow. Julie, Julie you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. That is better than I can do on any day. So, Brenda, you are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and we love the fact that it's all coming together. I got to tell you, you definitely need to check this out. First, we're going to give you how you can get the instructions for this project. That is so easy and so much fun. What you do is go to our website, WLOS.com, click on the Craft Corner link, and you'll find the instructions there for the uh, glycerin soap. And then also, you can make a trip out to, uh, say, another family memory when you go over to Dillsboro for the 29th Annual Lights and Luminaires. It is December 7th and 8th, and again on the 14th and 15th. The businesses in Dillsboro are going to look forward to seeing you from 5 to 9 p.m. each of those nights. You can find out more because we have a link at the Craft Corner page as well.